Uh, yep, they went ahead and made the light brigade better again. Excuse me. You okay? The Light Brigade, it just keeps getting better. Update 4.0 introduces the Saboteur class, armed with a slick revolver and an even deadlier watch. The timepiece truly sets this class apart. People won't be saying the revolver class, they'll be saying the invisibility guy. If you're already playing the update, let me know your thoughts and give this video a like so more people can learn about how this damn game just keeps on giving. Okay, back to the timepiece. It allows you to turn invisible on the fly, letting you reposition, explore, or as you notice from the intro, line up the perfect execution. But it's not just about being sneaky sneaky. Activating the timepiece powers up your next attack, making it devastatingly effective. And that lethality is gonna stack with all the other damage boosts in this game. And let's be honest, those executions are addicting and they make you feel like a total badass. I'm a huge fan of the timepiece, if you can't tell. It shakes up the gameplay. This isn't just another class with a new gun. And the cooldown on the invisibility is quick enough to use it frequently. And the damage boost is noticeable. And you can upgrade this thing too, but I haven't quite figured out what that upgrade does yet. If you know, let me know. That said, the timepiece does replace your sidearm, meaning the revolver is a lone gun. But don't worry. It's a beast. This thing can really slug. And even though it is only a six shooter, ammo counts feel good and reloading is fast. Just pop open the cylinder, flick your wrist back to eject the casings, and then slam in a fresh new bundle of ammo and then flick it back closed. It took me a few reloads to adjust, but it's quick and intuitive. Though I have a minor gripe about the gun. The two-handed grab point feels a little bit off. Like I have to kind of position my controller towards my wrist rather than the gun's handle. It's a small issue, but worth noting. But overall, the revolver feels fantastic and it fits the class perfectly. Let's talk about the class passive. Chain shot, and it's awesome. Every shot has a chance to bounce between enemies, causing absolute chaos and the higher you upgrade it, the more it triggers. At level two, I'm seeing it pop off at maybe around 30% of the time, and it's easily one of the best passives in the game. Combine that with the timepiece's stealth mechanics, and you've got a deadly combo here. Initially, I was worried about only having one gun with six shots, but it's not an issue. Ammo is plentiful, and the revolver's lethality makes up for its limited capacity. My recommendation? Focus on physical damage upgrades, as increased physical damage gets multiplied by the headshot weak point bonus. And magic damage? Well, it doesn't. And damn, it's just so satisfying to give them the slip and watch them go pop. To further expand the game's growing list of environments and terrain, we now have the Memorial Grounds, an entire new level. And I think the other worlds and areas got some love too. I stumbled across some new terrains that I haven't seen before, and I even got swarmed by an army of angry freaking birds. So the moral of the story is, this game just got even more replayable. Overall, the Saboteur is a fantastic addition to the Light Brigade. It's versatile, fun to play, and packed with potential. The timepiece and revolver combo brings a fresh and tactical edge to the battlefield, and the chain shot passive elevates it even further. If you haven't tried it yet, do yourself a favor and give this class a shot. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. If you did, let me know, and please consider subscribing. I'm so damn close to 1,000 subscribers now. So thanks, and catch you next time.